Here's how to enable the speedometer in Google Maps on your iPhone. Now, if you have your iPhone and you're navigating somewhere and you wanted to see the speed limit as well as your specific speedometer, I'll show you how to do that. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, let's hop into the App Store here because you want to make sure you update the latest version. This is a fairly new version. So let's go to Google Maps and search for it. And if it gives you the ability to update Google Maps, just make sure you update it again. This is a new feature that they've added on there. So you need the latest version. After you've done that, let's open up Google Maps here. And you're going to tap on the profile button at the very top, right? After you're in here, you can see under your data and maps, let's choose settings here. And then we'll choose at the very top navigation. This will allow us to adjust a bunch of things, but we're going to scroll down. It's kind of hidden towards the bottom under map display. You can sh see show speed limit and show speedometer. So, of course, if that is toggled off or if speed limits are toggled off as well, you can turn both of those on. And essentially what this will do is it will show both the speed limit for that specific road as well as your speedometer, how fast you are going. Essentially what it does is it tracks your iPhone as it's moving in the car and gauges a sense of how fast you are. So it's not perfect. It's not as accurate as the speedometer in your car itself. But this is a really cool feature. Of course, you can use this for other things as well, like if you're on a boat or an airplane, or if you're running really fast, you can use that speedometer to get an idea of how many you know miles per hour you're going at that current pace. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.